Hey Worship Leader, I hope you're excited because today is the fourth installment of a little mini series I'm doing where I walk through how to dial in the reverbs on the HX Stomp. We've already done the Glitz Reverb, the Ganymede, and Searchlights. And if you've missed those, that's okay, don't worry about it. You don't have to watch them in order. Just click the link to the playlist down in the description to check those out. But today we are digging into the Plateau Reverb. And I'm most excited about this one because not only are we gonna be able to get a good rhythm and lead tone, we're also gonna be able to do some stuff that we haven't been able to do with the other reverbs. Now this word is spelt weird. It ends with an X and I think the X at the end of this word plateau makes it plural in French. Now I'm not a French major so don't quote me on that. But it would make sense because plateau is a layer, a flat layer of land. I remember learning that when I was young. I used to live on the Ozark Plateau. Plateau? I used to live on the Ozark Plateau when I lived in Missouri when I was younger. And since a plateau is one layer and the X makes it possibly plural, it would make sense that this reverb has multiple layers. And in our case, it does, it has multiple octaves. And we're gonna be able to do a lot of cool things with this. Like I said, a good rhythm and lead tone, but then we have two other tones, a really cool shimmer setting and a pretty cinematic sub octave setting. Now, before we get into that, let me cover the basics of this mini series. First, we're not gonna be covering any parallel signal pads. You can do a lot of cool things with that, but my goal with this series is just to see how good we could get these reverbs to sound just by dragging and dropping them in. Then we're gonna be doing the three things we've done in all the other videos. First, we're gonna ask, what does this reverb do? What makes it special? Then we're going to tame the reverb. We're gonna pull everything out so we're not scared of it. Pull all the parameters down so that we can do step number three, and that is dial in what we need for each sound we're going for. Now, the reason we do this is so we can focus on exactly what we want. There are a lot of controls and parameters on these reverbs, specifically this one, and it can be a little overwhelming. I remember when I first saw this one, I was like, what does all this stuff mean? There were terms on here I didn't even understand. But that's why we're doing this video. It's not as bad as it looks. We're gonna conquer it. We're gonna get some good sounds out of it. So let's dive in to HX Edit. All right, as always, we have a Fender style amp with dual cab. That is from my preset bundle. You can check that out at heyworshipleader.com in the store. Links are in the description if you're interested. We also have an overdrive in here. I'm using the Minotaur again. So let's drag in and drop our plateau reverb, reverb, stereo, plateau. Let's hear what it sounds like right out of the box. Now, I will say, I've said in all the other videos about the other reverbs that you can drag those in and the settings were good enough when you drag and drop them in. You could play with those, no problem. But this one, not so much. It sounds a little wonky, it sounds weird. I don't like it, I wouldn't use it. And that's really what made me stay away from this reverb for a long time, but I'm glad I dug into it. So let's take a look at this reverb real quick and see what makes it special. And I can see down here that the uh, pitch sense Pitch two, sense two, pitch mix. What does all that mean? Let's figure it out. This reverb also has modulation. Let's just take that out. I'm going to pull the mix all the way up so we can hear what's going on, bring the decay down, and um, I'm gonna bring the pitch and everything to zero here. Now what this is, uh, I'll demonstrate in a second, but the pitch is what we talked about earlier. These are different octaves. So when you put it in the middle at zero, pitch two is also at zero, um, you're getting your tone plus your tone again plus your tone again. So three of your tones um, And this is how much of these are mixed into your tone. So if I pull this all the way out None of this is making any noise. Let's see if that's right. Oh Yeah, I took the mix all the way up, but let's hear our regular tone with it And I'll bring this in all the way up you can tell there's some harmonic differences there. I think it's just giving our pitch three different times. So I'm going to move our mix back up so we're just hearing this section. Now what happens here is if you start moving these up, they're going up. Every, every point is a note in the scale and so if you go up 12, you're going up a whole octave. 
So I'm gonna leave this one where it is, and just here we should have one of our normal tone pitch and one an octave higher. And if we go up to 24, which is all the way, it should be two octaves up. That sounds right. So if we follow this logic, we have the current octave that we're at, we have an octave up and two octaves up, and we have an octave down and two octaves down, and we can do that twice with these two, pitch number one and pitch number two. Now, when you move these pitches, like I said, they're going up a note in the scale. Now between two notes, let's just say between B and C, for example, there are other divisions called cents, and there are a hundred of those divisions, makes sense. 100 pennies in a dollar, 100 years in a century. You get it. And what this does is it moves your tone up or down incrementally on those synths, giving you some wacky sounds. Let me explain. We have all of our pitches right in the middle. To our ears, it may just sound like it's out of tune now. We've taken pitch one and just kind of tweaked it up some cents, taken the other pitch and tweaked it down. It sounds like we got two strings out of tune. So that's what that does. Let's put everything back in the middle, pull out this bottom layer, and let's listen to the modulation now. I don't hear a lot of what the modulation is other than it sounds like it's fluttering a little more when it gets up here. Let's leave that in the middle for now as well. Actually, let's pull it all out. We're gonna pull the tone out, pull the decay out, pull the pre-delay out, and our mix back down at 50, and let's work on a rhythm tone. Let's see what we have right now. This should be hardly anything. Now one thing I noticed on most of these tones today, unlike the other reverbs that we've done, I've always kept our reverb at the end of the signal chain, but with this reverb in particular, because it has some of this higher and lower pitch stuff that we're gonna deal with, I like the way it sounds between the amp and a cab. So make note on most of these, I think three out, three out of the four, I put between the amp and cab. And so for our rhythm tone, we're gonna start with this. Already got a lot of um, decay, even though decay is all the way off. So we're gonna leave the decay down. We're gonna bump the pre-delay up a bit. That mix is too much, so we're gonna pull the mix down. That sounds pretty good right there, but let's add a little bit of the pitch in down here. And one thing I like to do is let's, for, for rhythm, we don't want any sub octave or higher octaves going on, but let's mess with the synths a little bit. We don't want anything to sound out of tune. When we push these up and down a little bit, it gives it a little bit of a inconsistency that may make it sound a little more real, like reverberations that sound a little bit different pitched um, when they're bouncing off different parts of a room. So let's hear how that sounds. That sounds pretty good. Let's move this modulation up, see if we can tell the difference. I don't like the modulation on this at all. It's just fluttering way too much. Let's bring the decay up a little bit just to see. I'll bring the decay back down and let's mess with the tone. I forgot to mess with the tone. Let's put the tone all the way up and then we'll bring it back down. I don't like too much tone. 
Somewhere in there sounds reasonable. All right, save that. I think that's a good rhythm tone. Now let's work on a lead tone. This one I'm also going to put between the amp and the cab. And we will put it on foot switch three. So I can turn it on and off. There we go. Now with the lead, we want our decay up a lot higher. We want our pre-delay up a lot higher because we want the attack of our notes to come through the reverb. The tone we want up higher as well because we want this to stick out on a mix. I just don't like the modulation. Let's pull the mix down to 40 for now. We can mess with that. We don't want a sub octave, so let's pull this up here. Let's do like we did before where we bump one of these up, one of these down. And let's do one octave up and we'll just keep this at 50 for now. Let's put trails on, save. Let's see what we got. That sounds pretty good. It's trailing on a little long. Let's pull the decay down a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see what happens when we pull this pitch up to let it shine through a little more. I think that sounds pretty good. Now let's try it on the other side of the cab just so we can hear what it sounds like. It should ring through a lot more, maybe annoyingly. It's kind of harsh, but we do want harsh. So that one I could do on either side of the cab. That one and a live mix, I might would leave it on the outside of the cab. I'm saying the outside of the cab, behind the cab, at the end of the chain, so that it would shine through a little bit more. All right, let's save that. I think we got a really good rhythm and lead tone. Let's hear the rhythm, and then I'll click on the lead, and we'll see how it goes. Let's try it one more time before the cab. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to the exciting part. We're gonna make the shimmer and sub-octave settings. Let's start with the shimmer. Let's drag in our reverb. Stereo, plateau. Now on the shimmer setting, I definitely want the shimmer to be on the inside and between the amp and cab. Um, let's put our decay way up, because this is gonna be our most ambient tone. We'll bump up the pre-delay a little bit. Uh, modulation, let's just keep it there. I've been taking it out, we'll leave that there. If I don't like it, we'll take it out. Now, what we do wanna do is bring up two octaves. So two octaves here, one octave here, and we're going to bring down the pitch and then bump it up as much as we think that we need it. Let's turn trails on. Let's save this to foot switch two. Save our work. See how this sounds. Pretty good reverb. Now let's start bringing in the pitch.
That's a really cool shimmer sound. Let's bring the pitch, pitch mix all the way up. I think it'll be way too much. We'll bring it back down, but just so we can hear what it sounds like. actually doesn't sound that bad. I think I had it brought down um, when it was on the other side of the cab. Let's hear it with it all the way up with it at the end of the signal. See what it sounds like. Let's bring this modulation out. I don't like the modulation. Huh? Decay down. Bring it back up. I don't like that. Put it before the cab, bring the pitch mix down a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that, but I will say on some of the notes, they don't like each other. Like if you, if you have a, a clean octave, it sounds good, but if you add the third in there sometimes, it kinda, or even the fifth, it gets, it doesn't know what to do with the two signals especially on the sub octave, but I'm hearing it even up here. Let's bring the tone in a little more. All right, I think what it was, I'm gonna bring up, I brought up the decay a little bit, brought the pre-delay up a little bit. I had taken it out. Keep the mod in the middle, mix at the middle, tone all the way up so we kind of get that sparkle. Um, these here without any of the synths moved. And I think this sounds the best. That sounds good for a shimmer reverb. Now let's move on to the sub octave, the cinematic. It's fun to play with. Um, this one I like after the cab so we can hear it. Let's put our reverb, stereo, plateau. Now for our sub octave, what we wanna do is let's just leave the decay there, bring the pre-delay down, tone where it is, modulation, I don't know, we may bring that out. Now we want one pitch to be one sub octave down and then this will just be our regular Let's bring the pitch mix up. We will turn trails on. We will assign this to foot switch three, save our progress, and hear what that sounds like. Let's move our mix all the way up so we can really hear it. We'll bump the uh, decay up. Sounds pretty cool. Let's bring the tone all the way up. Start bringing this mix down. I think I like it somewhere in here. Now for fun, let's just see what they sound like with both the shimmer and the octave on at the same time. Let's try it.
All right, what did you think of the plateau? Was it fun? I had fun. I like playing with Shimmer. I like playing with a sub octave. That's something I can also get on my Jet Revelation 2, version 2. It does that really well. The XX Stomp version doesn't really compare, but if that's all you have, it is pretty fun to play with, especially when at the end there where we put them both together. But who cares what I think? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you use the plateau? Have you been scared of it because it has all those different parameters? Do you think you'll use it now? Let me know down in the comments. Now, like I said, if you haven't seen the other videos that I made in this series, go check those out. I'll link the playlist in the description. If you like this video, please let me know by liking, hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell so you can be notified when the next, the last video in this mini series <clears throat> mini series comes out. I still have a cold. I'm trying to get rid of it. Hopefully I can sing Sunday. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good weekend or weekday. When is this video going out? I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.